medical and health news. The use of stem cells are driving major strides in treating all sorts of medical issues, including burns. And burn victims make up about half a million people annually, and stem cell therapy is making the healing process shorter and less painful. Joining us to talk more about this is uh, and how it's changing the game for uh, burn victims is dermatologist Dr. Sabrina Fabi. Hi there. Hi, nice to see you, Misha. So before we get into stem cells and what that actually is, lay out the difference between the most common types of burns. We hear all the time about third degree burns, first and second. What, what's the difference? So a first degree burn is maybe something you get with your curling iron. It's burning that very, very outermost layer of the skin, which we call the epidermis or the top layer of the skin. A second degree burn involves not just that top layer, but the dermis right underneath that top layer of the skin. And then a third degree burn involves all three layers. So the top layer, the epidermis, the middle layer, the dermis, and then that fat layer, and it can even go down as deep to bone involving muscle. And that's typically a third degree burn. And it's really those second and third degree burns that really can have life altering changes for our patients. Absolutely, so right now most burns, how are most burns treated today? And I know skin grafts is one, one treatment and it's very painful if, I'm, if, I, if that's true. Yeah, so for, for a burn that just involves the top layer of the skin, like a simple um, burn from maybe a, a pot or a pan or a curling iron, which can be quite painful, you know, topical emollients to really keep the area moist so that it can heal properly if there's no skin breakage are appropriate. But there are patients that have to see seek medical care for the second and third degree burns, which usually require taking skin from another area that's uninvolved and skin grafting it. So cutting it from there and putting it onto the area that's actually involved so that it can heal. The problem with this is that it leads to two scars, one, and then of course that skin is not natural to the area that it's being placed on. So patients can have contractures and lack of mobility in their joints when you harvest that one skin and put it onto another area. So how does stem cell then change this? Well, this particular technology is groundbreaking in that they're taking about a size of a stamp worth of skin, so very small, and they're, calling, they're taking that and then they're basically creating it into a liquid suspension, a mist, and they're putting it into a gun. And then they're spraying this mist over the entire area of the burn so that you're allowing these small little islands of new skin to form within the burn so that it doesn't have to actually heal from the outside in causing contracture and significant scarring of the skin where there is a burn. So is this still experimental? And if so, when can we expect it to be used by all doctors, including yourself? I know. So this was a study that was done in Germany. This is from a German researcher. So this, these studies are under, being undergone in, in, in Europe right now. It's probably hard to predict when it's going to happen here in the United States. But I think it's just very telling of the technology that we have coming down the pipeline. And for us dermatologists, the hope is that right now we use lasers to drill little microscopic holes into these scars to free up the scars so patients can have mobility again that's something I do at the practice and that we dermatologists all across the country do but if we're able to spray this mist into those little holes then the thought is that we're going to get even more healing more optimization of that full range of motion that we're trying to achieve when we do those laser treatments for our patients. Wow you know stem cell it's just uh, miraculous really where it will end up going. Dr. Sabrina Fabi thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me Nisha.